Hey guys, do you remember this passage here in Ezekiel 36 where the Bible supposedly says that, you know, T. Renshaw and Nathan were taken, <laughs> take, taken out of like other countries and brought onto their own land given by God and that, you know, they were given a new heart? <laughs> oh no, that's not what the Bible says. Okay, Let, let's, you know, actually pay attention to Ezekiel 36. Therefore... Say unto the house of Israel. Oh, okay. Wow, even the chapter starts off talking about, you know, Israel. Wow. You know, Israel, Israel, Israel. Wow. You know, God's talking about to Israel. Wow. Right, his people Israel. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, so therefore, say, you know, verse 22, therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord. Okay. I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the heathen, whither you went, and I will sanctify my great name which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord. Saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. House of Israel. And look, YouTube, okay, YouTube isn't God bringing out Christians into their own land, okay? <laughs> No, he's talking about to the house of Israel where they're going to be brought out from all countries on the face of the earth onto their own land. Okay, they're going to be taken back to Israel, to the, you know, to the, to the land of Israel. Verse 25, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you. Who's he going to give to? Those people that he's going to take from every country on earth, put them in the land of Israel, and clean them from their filthiness and their idols. Okay. The house of Israel. So a new heart... Right, verse 26, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statues, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. You know, which isn't the Pacific Northwest. Okay. <laughs> um, and you shall be my people and I will be your God. I will also save you from all uncleanness. And I will call for the corn. I will increase it and lay no famine upon you. Um... And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of field and the increase of the field, that you shall receive no more reproach or famine among the heathen. Then shall ye and look, you know you don't think there's countries right now that have famine that Christians live in. Look, the 
this is talking about a future event, and it's clearly not talking about the church. Because you're telling me there's no saved people in Africa that, ha that, that, that live in a country with famine right now? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, look. Uh, verse 31, then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall love yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and your abominations. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord, be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways. O house of Israel! <laughs> 